Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Elsie. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss Sandra. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. Excellent. Are you sick? Miss Sandra, are you sick? Um, enferma. ¿Cómo? Está enferma. Are you sick? Ah, uh, un poquito, fíjese. <laughs> okay. Me quiero dar un poquito de gripa, creo yo. <laughs> Are <laughs> five right now, five. Hello, Miss Joanna. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, well, in the previous class, we studied a little bit about could. Okay, could for polite request. Okay, para solicitar algo de una forma, um, llamémosle educada. Okay, donde el tono de la pregunta es bastante respetuoso. Okay, polite. Okay, polite. So, um, yesterday, okay, we had... We had some uh, exercises. Okay, some exercises. Vamos a practicar el primero que hicimos el día de ayer. Okay, y dijimos que podemos, vamos a utilizar eh, could en sí tiene dos, tiene dos funciones. Pero nos vamos a enfocar nosotros en, en esta unidad únicamente para solicitar algo de una forma educada. Okay, so se llama could. Para request, para solicitudes. Good for, for request. Okay, for example, number one, could. It says, I'm going to Starbucks. Y le dice, could you please get me a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee. Okay, number two, it says, I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. Okay. Uh, 
¿Cómo, ¿Qué podrían solicitar si alguien les, le dice que vaya, eh, que irá a la librería? Could you please get me a razor? Okay, could you please get me what? A razor. Ah, an eraser. Mm -hmm. Eraser, excellent. Good. Another example. Otro ejemplo. I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. Could you please get me a um, book? Okay, a book. Mm -hmm. Excellent. El siguiente, el siguiente ejemplo decía, I'm going to our English class. I'm going to class. I'm going to our English class. ¿Qué le podríamos solicitar utilizando could? Um, no recuerdo cómo se dice, como para decir eh, que llévame. <ríe> ah, take me. Take, take me. me. Entonces sería cold, you please take me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. To English class. To our English class. To English class. Uh -huh. Es como me podrías llevar. Uh -huh. okay. All uh, right. Teacher, ese podría decir, could you lend me your notes? Exactly. Could you lend me your notes? Notes. Excellent. All right. Uh, number four, it says, I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to the kitchen. Could you please get me a milk? Okay, could you please get me milk? Excellent. Milk. Another example using I'm going to the kitchen. Could you give me an apple and banana? Apple and banana, excellent. Okay, I'm going to London. I'm going to London. I'm going to London. Okay, about I'm going to the vegetable market. Vegetable market. Um. A comprar vegetales. Could you please get me uh, potatoes? Okay, could you please get me some potatoes? Excellent, Sandra. Okay, uh, I'm going to McDonald's. 
I'm going to McDonald's. Uh, uh, cool. Could you bring me a McFlurry? McFlurry, excellent, delicious, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to McDonald's. Could you bring me a um, Terratil? Okay, excellent. Coke? Melt, melty, excellent. Okay, how about I'm going to the, I'm going to the, I'm going to home. Voy a casa. I'm going home. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to start taking the list. All right. Um, okay. Remember, could we can use for polite request. Uh, también quería recordarle la realización de las eh, tareas. Eh, ya próximamente, o creo que ya está habilitado el examen final para que puedan ir avanzando. Ok. Y esta clase vamos a ver también Ken, el uso de Ken, okay, el uso de Ken. Ken también es eh, otro verbo modal con el cual se puede utilizar eh, para habilidades, para expresar habilidades, para expresar, para preguntar también de una forma cortés. Ok, pero eh, lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ok. En esta hora vamos a... Ah, también le quería recordar lo de la... Um, lo de la encuesta. La encuesta eh, la vamos a realizar el día lunes, que es la última clase de inglés. Así que no la vayan a abrir. Bueno, no la vayan a realizar para que todos juntos la podamos realizar y no tener ningún problema. Ok. Eh, I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Eh, Abner Adonai. Alba Isis López. Present teacher. Alba Isis. Serrano Durán. Serrano Durán. Okay. Contreras Romero. Present teacher. Escobar Landa Verde. Escobar Landa Verde. Escalante Rivera. Arteaga Méndez. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Um, Guevara Rosales. Guevara Rosales. Amaya de Amaya. Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Mi teacher. Thank you, Mr. Eh, Mr. Mr. García. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Eh, López Cerón. López Cerón. Grisuela Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Maylin Betzabe. Guevara Chinchilla. Miriam Paola Díaz Villegas. Miriam Díaz, Miriam Díaz Villegas, Guevara Castro. Present Guevara, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Corpeño Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Thank you, Miss. Um, Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss López Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sara. Eh, Chicas Delgado. Present. 
Good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Bueno, vamos a continuar utilizando, eh, utilizando could para polite request. Vamos a tener el primer ejercicio. Okay, polite request. Es de igual manera en el ejemplo anterior. Tenemos el enunciado y dice, I'm going to the post office. I'm going to the post office. Estoy yendo a, el, a la post office. Aquí está, el, aquí está el ejemplo. I'm going to post office. Entonces, le solicita de una forma cortés, utilizando could. Y dice, could you please buy some stamps for me? ¿Saben qué son estampas? Las que les colocan a las cartas. A las cartas. Exactly. Could you please buy some stamps for me? ¿Podrías comprar unas estampillas para mí? Okay, sure. How many do you need? Okay. En la número uno dice, I'm going, bueno, número dos, I'm going to a clothing store. ¿Qué se les ocurre que pueden solicitar de una forma cortés? I'm going to a clothing store. A una tienda de ropa. Eh, 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 ¿Basándose siempre en la conversación o es como una nueva? Una nueva, Miss. Ah, ok. ¿Qué I'm, podría ser? I'm, I'm going to the library. No, no, eh, aquí tenemos I'm going to the closing store, una tienda de ropa. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿Qué le podemos solicitar de una forma cortés? I would like to buy shorts. Okay, I would like to buy shorts. Excellent. Good example. And using could, podrías tú? Could you please buy some uh, shoes? Okay, could you please buy some shoes for me? Excellent. What size? ¿Qué talla? What size? Uh, uh, night. Nine. Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, another volunteer. I'm going to the clothing store. Uh, could, you going... please, uh -huh. could you please check a uh, sale? Could you please check a uh, sale? Sales, ofertas. Excellent. Sales are very important. Good. <laughs> uh, another example, guys. I'm going to a clothing clothing store. Could you please uh, show me a wallet? Excellent. Could you please show me a wallet? Excellent. También pueden solicitar como que explicar de nuevo. Could you please explain the topic again? Podría explicar el tema de nuevo. Okay. Eh, la siguiente. I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the zoo. Que pueden solicitar utilizando could. Um, I, um, could you please me buy a souvenir? Okay, could you please buy me a buy souvenir? A souvenir. Oh, could you please okay. buy a souvenir for me? For me. Oh, yeah. Oh, could you, could uh -huh. you please buy some map? Could you please buy some map? Excellent. Excellent. Could you please buy a map? Could you please tell me the snake area? Excellent. Could you please tell me the snake area? Very good. Muy bien. Excellent example. Ahora, uh, a bank. A bank. Oh. Could you please, to please pay my bill, please? Podría pagar mis recibos. Could you please buy my bills? Uh, could you please pay, pay my bill? Pay my bill. Ok, 
Okay, uh, another example. I'm going to the I'm going to a bank. Could you add money to my account? Ah, excellent. Could you could you add money to my account? Okay, uh, I'm going to the coffee shop. Starbucks, coffee cup, uh, Juan Valdez. I'm going to a coffee shop. Could you please get me uh, coffee espresso? Excellent. Good. Coffee espresso. Could you please get me a semita? <laughs> Delicious. Okay. Could you bring my uh, a latte? Ah, okay, la, cookies. La, excellent, In cookies. Eso ya, ya, ya son todos. <laughs> Tengo. <laughs> It is Friday. <laughs> sí. Friday. Okay, eh, good. Eh, I'm going to Cinemark. I'm going to Cinemark. Movie theater. Could you please buy me popcorn? Excellent. Please buy popcorn for me. Excellent. Popcorn. Excellent. Okay. Could you please give me two tickets? Excellent. Two tickets. Two tickets. Two tickets. Excellent. Okay, eh, ejemplos eh, utilizando could you? Could you? Could you? Oh, would you please give me your phone number? Could you please give me your phone number? Excellent. Could you please give me your phone number? Could you help me? Could you help me? Okay, muy bien. Otro ejemplo. Otro ejemplo, otro ejemplo utilizando could you. Hello? I'm sorry? No sé, un ejemplo en el aeropuerto podría ser que, uh, can, could you tell me where is my plane exit? Okay, well, could you please tell me where the, uh, could you please tell me where the plane exit is? Muy bien. Good job. Okay, let's practice a little bit about could. Okay, it says, could you please, please write the correct sentence under the picture. Could you please hand me my glasses? That is an example. Uh, what is the correct answer? Could you please wash my clothes? Could you please sweep the room? Could you please open the door? Could you please wash the dishes? Could you please open the window? Could you please turn on the lights? Could you please iron my clothes or could you please buy a coat? Could you please wash the dishes? Wash the dishes. dishes. Good. Let's see. Uh, number two. Could you please turn on the light? Turn on the light. light. Excellent. Next. Could you please take out the garbage? The garbage, excellent. Next. Wash my, could you please wash my clothes? Good. Could you please iron my clothes? Could you please iron my clothes? Iron my clothes. And the last one. <clears throat> Wow. 
could you please sweep the door, the, room? Swing the room? Sweep the room? Sweep, sweep the room. Sweep, sweep the room. Okay. Let's see. Good. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Perfect. Very good. Again, thank you very much for your participation in this exercise. Could you? Could you? Ok, good. Ahora eh, vamos a ir al manual. Manual, ok. Ok, vamos al manual, a la página, page number eh, 45, page 45. Eh, ready? Okay, it says, thanks for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file, to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. One more time. It says, thank, thank for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. One more time. Okay. Thank, thank for calling the IT department. Hello. My name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, vamos a repetir todos juntos. Ok, comenzamos. 3, 2, 1. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello. Hello. My name is Maria Ochoa. My name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file a complaint. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. About my work terminal. Computer. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Describe the problem. Please, Please describe, describe the, problem. the problem. It was very slow yesterday. It was yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. And, and it didn't, didn't turn on today. today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. We, we can send, send a new, a new computer, computer in no time. time. Thank you. 
Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, one more time, one more time. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank Hello, my name is Maria Choa. Hello, my name is Maria Choa. And I need to file a complaint. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. About my work terminal. Computer. Computer. I'm so I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. And it didn't turn on today. Let us send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. We can we send, can send a new computer, send a new in, computer no in no time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Any question about the pronunciation or the meaning of any of those words? Yes. Este, let me send. Um, la siguiente palabra, someone. Someone. El último de Mike. Let, let me send. Me someone. Uh, let me send. Someone. Uh, someone. 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 Okay. I'll give. Someone. Uh, with a complaint. Ahí está. With a complaint Sorry. form. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It is a file, a complaint. A complaint. Es, es como un formato de, como de queja. Formato como de una, queja. Como una forma de llenar un formulario de queja. Exacto. Un formulario como de queja, de que no funciona la computadora. Another question? Eh, la palabra describe eh, se, se, se pronuncia describe. Describe, exactly. Describe. 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 Okay. okay, well, as usual, we're going to practice. Okay, uh, please switch uh, switch roles. Una vez Maria, una vez mine. Okay, please. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hi. Buenas noches. Los cuatro estaríamos, teacher. Ah, uh, sí, miss. Ok. Uh -huh. No se puede compartir la conversación. Si me ayuda, please. You can now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Hola. Eh, todavía no, no se mira. Bueno, ok, ahí me aviso. Ahorita sí ya. Ok. Vaya, entonces como somos cuatro, podemos participar dos y dos y luego... Ok. No. okay. Vaya. ¿Alguien que inicie? ¿Quién inicio yo? Eh, Nelson. Veamos quién más está. Nelson y Carlos. Ok, los dos chicos y las dos chicas y luego intercambiamos. Vaya, está bien. Ahí, entonces, este, no sé si quieren iniciar los chicos primero. La dama primero. Ok. Vale, si gusta, inicio yo. Ok, Carla. Dice, ¿de qué yo fue calling the e-department? Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to find a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it did, didn't turn on today. Let me say some, some, someone. Wait, someone wait and complain for we can see any a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ahora eh, inicio yo y usted continúa. Bye. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name, my name is Maria Ochoa. I, I need to feel a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe. Bye. Thank you for thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to feel a complaint about my work terminal computer. Oh, I am uh, sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me see someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. A ver la Hagámoslo así, pero inicio yo. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora que empiece. Ahora yo empiezo. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about me mi work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and I didn't sort on today. Let me send some home with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. No sé si lo estamos haciendo bien, no. No ha dicho el dicho. Ya vino y se fue. Ahí <ríe> está todavía. Ahí está. No, no, no nos dijo si estamos bien o no. Sí, están bien, están bien. 
Eh, solamente la palabra di, didn't, ¿así se pronuncia? Didn't. Así es, didn't. Oh, ok. Sigamos. Empiezo yo. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Shaw and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. La tercera. No, <laughs> I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and I didn't start on today. Let me send some young with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in, in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Se fue la otra chica. Okay, just the pronunciation of sí. complaint. 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 Vaya, voy yo. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. Este, la vamos, dijo el teacher de que le vamos a ejecutar hasta el día lunes. Ah, lunes. This Monday. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you for calling the ET. Hello, my name is Mario Chua. I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I saw to hear that. I didn't describe the problem. It was very, very slow yesterday, and I didn't tour on today. Let me send someone with a complete form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Y Ten, thank you for calling the AT department. Hello, my name is Maria Choa and I need to file a complaint about, about my work term. Computer, computer, computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. Si quiere podemos practicar otra vez, si gusta. Ok, ok. Start. You, Mike, um, Maria. Ok, yo voy con Mike. Ok. Thank you for calling the ET department. Hello, my name is Abner Molina and I knew to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complete form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Uh, okay. IT, the pronunciation of IT. IT, okay. IT department. IT department. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling the IT department. Okay. Y quiero ver. Complaint. Es complaint. 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 Okay, pero para otra. No, se les. Okay, ready, Alejandra. Démosle. Okay, thank you for calling the AT department. Hello, my name is Maria Choa, and I need to. Wait about my work. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I it didn't turn on today. Let me send some of what we've accomplished for. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Ella quizá por, por gramática, porque ella puede inglés. Como es una agencia de viajes, ella puede inglés, pero gramaticalmente le cuesta. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, le da, thank le you for calling. Sí. Uh -huh. si gusta. Y seguimos como estábamos con uno okay, cada uno. uno, cada uno. Uh -huh. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to find a complaint about my word terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It, it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on, on today. Let me send someone uh, uh, with a complaint for we can sell a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file complaints about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. To Let me see. It. Let me let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Okay, Emma. Oh, chiquita, grande, bilingüe. Teacher, una consulta. Teacher. Dime. Es, este, ¿Cuál es la diferencia o si es lo mismo cuando las personas contestan, cuando dicen you're welcome, pero más unido, o no así como acá, como you are, you are welcome? ¿Es lo mismo? Es lo mismo, es la contracción. Ah, you're welcome. Es contractado, ok. Ah, tenía esa duda. Es como you're welcome. You're welcome, ok. La otra es you are welcome. Es más bonita la contractada. <risa> Sí, también puede decir anytime, don't mention it. Ok. Otra variante. Igual anytime. que en thank you, en eh, thank you podríamos decir thanks. Thanks, ajá. Ok. Si, si, el, el, si la palabra thank va sola es thanks. Y si va acompañada de al, del pronombre you es thank you. Thank you, ok. Mm -hmm. thank. Or thank you very much. Okay. Or thank you a lot. Ah, sí, sí, también ya lo he escuchado, es cierto. Thank you a lot. Thank you, teacher. Oh, no vamos. No vamos. All right, okay, now we're going to practice the conversation. Okay, we're gonna have a conversation in pairs, but this time uh, I'm going to choose the pairs. How about uh, Miss Sandra and Miss Joanna? Miss Sandra is Mike and Miss Joanna is Maria. Okay, eh, okay. nosotros habíamos dicho, teacher, que íbamos a participar las tres. No sé si estará bien. Es que no es el mismo grupo. ¡Ay, no! Yo, yo no estaba con usted. No quiere participar conmigo, Tich. Yo era mala mía. Bueno, ok. Thank you for calling the IT department. Very good. Hello. 
Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my word terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you very thank you very much. Good pronunciation and good fluency. Okay, ambas han mejorado bastante la pronunciación y la fluidez. Muy bien. Okay. Okay. On Miss Elsie and Mr. Abner. Miss Elsie, she will be Mike, and Mr. Abner will be Maria. Okay. Okay. Thank you for thank you for calling the IT department. Mr. Abner. Hello, my name is Ochoa, and I need to terminal computer. Uh, ¿Me escucha? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, okay, okay. okay. Hello, my name is Mario Ochoa. Okay. Hoy, 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 si me escucha? Oh, sí. ¿Vuelvo a repetir? Yes. Please, repeat it again. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, my name is Mario Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my word terminal computer. I'm sorry. To hear that, please describe the problem. It was very so just yesterday, and I didn't turn on to date. Let me think, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Okay. Uh, can you repeat this word? Slow. 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 Very slow yesterday. Slow. Very slow it was yesterday. Very slow yesterday. Exactly. S slow. Okay. Thank you very much. How about Miss Carla and Miss Chicas Delgado? Miss Carla, she will be Mike. And Miss Elizabeth, she will be Maria. Thank you. You for calling the e department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I the I and I need to find a complex about my goal terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It, it was very sorry yesterday, and it didn't turn on time. Let my see someone why my complaint, for we, we can see, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good. Okay, <laughs> we're going to repeat the, the following words. Department. 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 I T I T. I T. I T department. I T department. A file. File a complaint. File. File a complaint. File a complaint. Excellent. Uh, let me see. A computer. 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 Okay. Um. Let me see. Someone. Someone. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. How about Miss Isis? Can you be Mike? Miss Isis Montalvo. And, Thank you, sir. And Mr. Neftali, can you be Maria? Miss Montalvo is Mike and Mr. Neftali. Also Neftali, it is Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to find a complaint about my work terminal computer. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very long yesterday and I didn't turn it on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Good, good fluency, good intonation and inflection. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos con eh, Mr. Oscar Noé and Mr. Nelson. Mr. Oscar, he will be Mike and Nelson will be Ms. Maria. Ready? You begin, Mr. Oscar. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, so, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal computing. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it's dying to on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer on time. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. And now let's see Miss Sara Abigail and Miss Alejandra Serrano. Miss Sara, she is Mike, and Miss Serrano, Miss Alejandra Serrano, she is Maria. Okay, teacher. Thank you for calling the IT department. Ms. Alejandra? No. Hello, hello. Poco suave. Me escucho ya a lo lejos. Se le escucha súper, súper suave. Es que voy manejando, quizás por eso es que soy yo, por el internet. ¿Se le escucha, mi Sara? Un poco. Bueno, ¿Intentemos así? Sí. Ok. Ok. Sí, ahora voy a iniciar nuevamente, Alejandra. Thank you for the calling the IT department. Creo que no escucha. No, creo que no. Me escucha. Hola. Continúe con María. Hello, my name is Maria Choa. And I need to buy a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't start on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Miss. Welcome. Welcome, exactly. Excellent, okay. Mr. Carlos Emilio, can you be Mike? And Ms. Rosalie, can you be Maria? Carlos. Listo. Go ahead. Thank you for calling the I the the it, it, the the department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and I 
and it it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a compliant form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Good job. Muchas gracias. Okay, por la participación. All right. Ahora vamos a ver un poco sobre Ken. Ken. Okay. Alguien eh, sabe qué significa o cuándo se utiliza el, el modal verb Ken. Ken. Es como poder. Como poder. De poder hacer algo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Poder hacer. Muy bien. Ok. Eh, bueno, ¿quién pertenece a la familia okay, de eh, los moral verbs? A los verbos especiales. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, se utiliza en, para dar o para expresar un tipo de habilidad. Eh, habilidad. O también para... Eh, hacer preguntas okay, de una forma polite again ok polite por ejemplo eh, para decir yo puedo saltar como podemos decir bueno utilizamos decimos I can I can jump I can jump ok o para decir yo puedo eh, cantar yo puedo cantar. ¿Cómo podríamos decir eso? I can sing. I can sing. Very good. Para decir, yo puedo hablar inglés. I can speak I English. Can speak English. I can speak English. Bueno, como pueden darse cuenta, can eh, no, no, no lleva preposiciones después del... Eh, del moral verb, ¿verdad? No decimos I can to speak, o no decimos I can to dance, sino que de una vez I can speak, I can dance. Ok, vamos a practicar un poco el, el uso de can. Tenemos algunas laminitas. Tenemos action verbs and abilities. Bien, por ejemplo, afirmación es can. Can't. Can't. All right. Y la forma negativa es can't. 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 Okay. Can is affirmative and can't it is negative. Comenzamos. Por ejemplo, I. ¿Cómo podría ser esta? I can. Catch a ball. I can catch the ball. Negative form. I can't. I can't. I can't catch the ball. Catch the ball. Very good. How can about cook. this? Can cook. cook. I can cook. I can cook. Negative form. So, so can. Sorry. Teacher, uh, she can. She can. I mean, exactly. She can cook. She can. Muy bien. How about this? She can dance. I can dance. She can dance. Negative form. I can't dance. dance. I can't or she can't dance. Perfect. She can't. This one it is dive. Bucear. Dive. Dive. I can dive. I can dive or no I I can't I can't, I can't dive. Perfect. Dive. Se mantiene el verbo, teacher. Sí, se mantiene. Okay. Do gym, 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 gymnastic. Do gymnastic. Yes, I I do. Yes, gymnastic. I can do. I can do gymnastics. I can do. 
Yeah. About this. Do karate. Do karate. I can do karate. Can Negative do... form. No puedo. I can't. I can't. I can't do karate. Here we have draw. Dibujar. Draw. Draw. ¿Cómo sería esta forma? She can I can't draw. I can draw. I can draw or she draw. can draw. Again. She can draw. Drive. She can drive. She can drive. Negative form. She cannot drive. She okay. cannot or she can't drive. Again. Hope. She hope. can hope. hope. Excellent. Ice skate. Can you can you ice skate? <laughs> no, I can. No, you, no, you can. Skate. Can you jump? She can jump. She can jump. Negative form. She can't jump. Play basketball. I can play basketball. I can play basketball. Negative form. I can play basketball. Excellent. Very good. Play soccer. I don't play. Help. I, I can play. I can't. I can't play soccer. Oh, yes, I can play soccer. Or oh, she can play soccer. Play tennis. I can play tennis. I can play tennis in negative form. I can't. I can't. I can't play tennis. Play tennis. I can't play the guitar. I can't play the guitar. I can't read. I can't read. Ride a bike. I can ride a bike. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. I can ride a horse. Roller blade. Roller blade. He can roll. Can roll. Excellent. Run. She can run. She can run. She can sing. She, she can, can sing. sing. She can sky. She can, she can swim. She can swim. She can write. Excellent. She can write. Perfect, Sarah. Okay, what can you do? What can you do? Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, give me two sentences. What you can do? What you can do? ¿Qué pueden hacer? Example, I can, I can speak Spanish. I can speak Spanish. I can, I can, uh, I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Okay, how about? I can cook vegan food. Excellent, you can cook. Vegan food. Vegan. Okay. Vegan no, food. No meat, no carne. <laughs> yes, no. Okay, Miss Sandra, can. what can you do? Um. Ah, ejemplo como de qué tipo. <laughs> ¿Qué puedo hacer? Um, I can um, um, write. You can write perfect. Mm -hmm. Another example. I can make you. I can what? I can make you. Makeup. 
Ah, makeup. Oh, makeup. I can make. Good. Okay. Excellent. Um, another example using can. De los que recuerdan de la PowerPoint. She can jump. I can play the guitar. Excellent. She can sing. She can sing. I can do karate. Okay. She can, can karate. ride a bike. Excellent. Ride a bike. Ride a horse. I can play basketball. Play basketball. Excellent. Let's continue. Continue. Abilities. Okay. What is the affirmative form? Well, the affirmative form is the following. You can say, I can, you can, he can, she can. Como pueden darse cuenta. Eh, no, no, se, no se cambia nada, no agregamos S a los verbos en las terceras personas, únicamente es can en todos los pronombres. Por, por ejemplo, carrot, carrots can talk. Parrots can talk. Pueden hablar. Yes, we can. Kangaroos can jump. Can jump. Humans can jump. Can jump. Can jump. Cheetahs can run. Can run very fast. Yes, cheetahs. Eh, cheetahs, leopardos. Cheetahs, oh, okay. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Okay, and some people can run very fast too. Some people can run very fast too. Unas personas también pueden correr muy rápido. Okay. Uh, dolphins. Dolphins. Can swim. 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 Many people can swim too. Many people can swim too. Ahora vamos a ver la forma negativa. La forma negativa es la contracción de can not. Es la, es la forma completa y la contracción es can't. Can't. For example, you cannot, you can't. He cannot, he can't. Ok, ambas, eh, ambas opciones son válidas. Sin embargo, la forma más utilizada es eh, can't en contracción. En contracción. Por ejemplo, y la cannot usualmente se utiliza como para enfatizar algo. Por ejemplo, eh, supongamos que eh, su hijo le quiere pedir permiso para salir. Y usted ya le dijo más de dos veces que no. Entonces le dice, you cannot go out. Entonces estamos enfatizando ese cannot, no puedes. Ok, usualmente utiliza, se utiliza más la contracción, can't. Can't. Ok. Parrots can't swim. No pueden nadar. Can't swim. No, we can't. Kangaroos can talk. Can't talk. Dolphins can't run. Can't run. Elephants ah, can't jump. No pueden saltar. Can't jump. Ok, ¿cómo hacemos preguntas? Bueno, para hacer las preguntas únicamente vamos a intercambiar el sujeto con el model verb. Can you? Can he? Can she? 
Can eat? Can we? Can you? Can they? Esa es la forma de pregunta. Can I speak to you? Can you tell me the time? Preguntas. Ok. Usted me contesta si es can or can't. Can dolphins swim? Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, it can. Or yes, they can. Yes. Can elephants jump? No, we can. No. We can't. We? No. 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 They. No. They. Yes. They. They can. They no. Okay. Um, kangaroos. Can kangaroos fly? No, no they can't. They can't. No, they, no, can. they, they can jump. Can parrots talk? No, they talk. can. How loud? Yes, we can. Uh, yes. yes. Yes, they can. They can. Ah, uh, yes, they can. <laughs> okay, también can se puede utilizar para solicitar permiso. Por ejemplo, can I clean the blackboard, please? Puedo limpiar el pizarrón. Can I clean the black blackboard, please? Puedo borrar o oh, perdón, limpiar la pizarra. Can I clean? Can I open the window, please? Puedo abrir la ventana. Can I open the windows, please? Can I sharpen my pencil, please? Can I go to the toilet? Puedo ir al baño. Please. All right. Y ese es el uso de can and can't. Can and can't. Usualmente can and can se utiliza para expresar habilidad. Okay. O también para solicitar permiso. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta con el uso de can or can't? No, de hecho. Ok, está un poco fácil. ¿no? Ok, vamos a practicar entonces el uso de can. En en Okay. Dice can or can. Número uno, her dad only speaks English. ¿Y? Can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. Su papá puede hablar cinco. Perdón, 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 perdón. Puede hablar únicamente inglés. Entonces, he can't. Can't. Very good. Number two. Una habilidad. I can. Can. I can swim a hundred meters. Number three. Can, can, can you make fire? Can you make fire? Number four. Can he cook? No, he no. can. He can no. cook. I can he cook. 
No, he can't, right? What the sports? Can you play? play? Can you play? Number six, Mark. Oh, first we it. Can. Mark can play. Free. Dice que está enfermo. Ah, entonces es can. <laughs> can. can. There's party tonight. Hay fiesta esta noche. Number seven. Can I come? Can I come? Puedo venir. Number, number eight. Number eight. Peter doesn't want to go to the pool because he. Peter no quiere ir a la piscina porque no. Can't. Excellent. No puede nadar, por eso no quería. No nadar. Uh -huh. Muy bien, excelente. ¿Hay alguna pregunta con estos ejercicios? Any question with this exercise? Okay, good. All right. Well, um, let's do the following exercise. A second, please. All right, okay, here we go. All right, how about, all right, can you, can you ride a bike? Can you ride a bike? I can. You can, okay, muy bien. Bueno, entonces, ese tipo de preguntas vamos a hacer ahorita. Les voy a compartir las preguntas en el chat. Ok, dice, can you swim? Can you write your name without looking at the paper? Ok, vamos a tener esas preguntas y las vamos a, se las vamos a hacer a nuestros compañeros y de ahí vamos a intercambiar. Ok, una vez preguntamos y otra vez contestamos. El objetivo de esto es que usted pueda practicar cómo formular preguntas, cómo contestar, utilizando quién or can, dependiendo de la, de la respuesta. Okay, ¿Pueden ver las preguntas en el chat? Yes, teacher. Yes. Good. Okay, so we're going to practice for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. We're going to practice the use of can. All right, here we go.
Sí, yo le digo, you, por ejemplo, um, a eh, ver. Eh. Bien, porque si yo digo, es, ¿puede escribir su nombre? Ah, si yo lo digo de esa forma, sí. Yes, pero debería decir, eh, en, en su caso se podría decir, debería ser Sandra can write his name without looking at the paper. Está escribiendo. ¿no? Sí, o sea, como le digo, es diferente yes. forma de decirlo. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Qué sería? Abner. Abner can write. Abner can write your name uh, without. Ok. A the paper. Va mm -hmm. la otra. Vamos a ver qué dice. Can you stand on one foot for more? Um, stand. Están es pararse. Ah, si se puede pararse ahí, put, en un pie por más de 30 yeah. segundos, dice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Entonces voy a poner... Yes, he can, voy a poner yo. Can you have a Quiero decir la otra hora. Y la última sería, can you remember their names? Eh, de recordar los nombres de gente no, nueva. No, no soy malo con los nombres. Eh, y ustedes me dijo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí. I can. Sí. Okay. I can remember. Okay. I can remember, remember names. Okay. He cannot remember. Mm. La última que si sabemos cocinar algo delicioso. No tengo. <laughs> tengo que se le quemaba hasta el agua, así que. <laughs> He cannot. Te digo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, que sí. Yes, he can. You remember their names when you live in... You remember their names. Hola. Hola, Diem. 
El, este, no nos habíamos fijado que estaba mailing, ¿sabe? Entonces, ah. este, ajá, es de preguntarle a ella y que ella sepa nuestras respuestas también. Ah, vaya, sí, porque las tuyas, las de ustedes ya las tengo, ok, vaya. Ok. Hola. Hola. Hola, fíjense que yo me acabo de conectar, entonces solo estoy observando y viendo eh, lo de las preguntas, pero no, no sé realmente qué es lo que, que están haciendo. Estamos eh, usando lo que son los model pairs, que son como formas eh, de hacer preguntas de una, como una manera. No, she can't. No, she can't. Mm. Yes. Pusimos yes. dos negativas, ¿verdad? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mira, me está tomando el sueño. Ay, sí. Bueno, vamos a hacer una cosa. Hay palabritas ahí que, que no. Um, Dijimos, quiero ver, es que... Eh, white. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ajá, ¿cómo se pronunciará? ¿Cuál? Eh, esa, white, wild looking. Without. 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 Ajá. Without. Va, pero ahí, quiero ver... Pero me lo voy a escribir. Without. 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 ¿Qué significará? Eh, uy. Porque es que no sé si es una... No sé si tiene una traducción así literal. Uh -huh. bueno, porque está diciendo. Yes, I can cook anything delicious. All right. Ahora no sé si usted, Carla, quiere. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay, guys. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. No. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So now that we have, now that you practice your conversation using can, okay. I'm going to ask some of you. For example. <laughs> pardon? Ay, perdón, te he también encendido el audio. <laughs> okay. For example, uh, Miss. Mis chicas delgado, can you swim? Can you swim? No, I can't swim. Excellent. Miss Joanna, can you write your name without looking at the paper? Yes, I can. Good. Miss Sandra, can you stand on one foot on one foot for more than 30 seconds? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Good. Mr. Abner, uh, can you hold can you hold your breath for a minute? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. All right. Uh, let me see. Miss Isis, can you remember their names when you meet new people? 
Yes, I can remember their names when meet new people. Excellent. When I meet new people. When Excellent. I meet. Excellent. Very good. All right. And Mr. Mr. Uh, Carlos Emilio, can you cook anything delicious? No, I can cook anything delicious. Excellent. Good. Miss. Mr. Neftali, can you cook anything delicious? No, I can. No, you can. I can. I can prepare a Marushan soup. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Miss Miss Joanna, can you remember their names when you meet new people? Yes, I can. Good. Mr. Abner, can you hold your breath? Uh, another question, sorry. Can you can you write your name without looking at the paper? Yes, I can. I never looking at the paper. Okay, without sin mirar, without, without looking. Excellent, Mr. All right, Miss Elsie, can you hold your can you hold your breath for a minute? Yes, I can. Good, excellent. All right, excellent. Uh, thank you very much for your participation in this activity. Good, all right. Give me a second. Vamos a realizar este ejercicio todos juntos. Y dice, read the choose the correct option. A lion can or can run fast? Can. Can. A monkey can or can't jump? Can. A hippo can fly or can't fly? Can. 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 Oh, can't. Uh, can't. An elephant can swim or can't swim? Can. 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 can swim. A crocodile. No. Crocodile. Can or can yeah. climb trees? Can. 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 Can't. Can or can't? Can. Can. A parrot can fly. Or can't fly. Can. can fly. Can. A can bear fly. can or can run. Can run. Can. A snake can or can't climb. Subir árboles. Climb. Escalar. Yes. Can. can. Yes. Yes. Okay. A rabbit can oh, or can jump. Saltar. Can jump. Yes. Can. Okay. Yes, let's can. see. Yes. Ten out of ten. Do de en la cuatro. Really? No, pero si pueden nadar los elefantes, incluso en el mar. Eso ahí es raro, yo. Que no saliera bueno y según yo no podía. No, si pueden. Ok. Ok, good. Bueno, vamos a seguir practicando el uso de Kent. 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 Esta vez a través de una pequeña eh, práctica. Give me a second. Is it still loading? Okay. Ahorita en un segundo para compartir con ustedes el link. Ok, si alguien me ayuda compartiendo el video en el grupo de WhatsApp para que todos tengan acceso, incluyendo los estudiantes que, que lo hacen a través de su móvil. 
Thanks. We are twelve. May I start now? May I start now? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Miss Sandra, may I start? Ah, yes. she's yes. okay. Good. She's here. Okay, let's start the game in three, two, one. Action. Ay, no me la otra. Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, terminate the chair. Unless it's a little bit of you. Okay, let's go on. Finish. No, don't press the mess. Finish. Yes. Excellent. Good. Okay, we have finished the exercise. Okay. Uh, we have good grades. Tenemos muy buenas notas. Uh, I'm going to tell you the top five. Top number five. It is Miss Sara Lopez, Miss Isis Montalvo, excellent, Mr. Abner, Mr. Josue Garcia, and the winner, Miss Lisbeth, Miss Lisbeth Alfaro. Okay, congratulations, excellent. Okay, Ken and Kent. Eh, ¿Les ha parecido el tema? ¿Está difícil? ¿Está pasable? Easy. Easy. Muy bien, excelente. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer la última, la última práctica de Kent. Okay. Kent and Kent. Kent and Kent. Voy a compartir con ustedes el link. Si me hacen el favor, compartirlo. En el para los que tienen acceso a través de móvil. Ni ratito que esto ni me oye. Oh, por sueño. We are 10, 12. Uh -huh. Excelente, mis chicas. Ok. Podemos iniciar, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, here we go. Thank you. 
Time is over. Good. Vamos a ver. El top five. Ok. Miss okay. Maylin Betsabe, Sara López, Carlos okay. Emilio, Lisbeth Alfaro, and the winner, Oscar Noé Magaña. Ok. Congratulations, Mr. Oscar. Thank you very much for your participation. Bueno, y ya para ir finalizando, vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. Comenzamos con Mr. Abner Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Alba Isis. Present teacher. Serrano Durán. Serrano Durán. Eh, Contreras Romero. Present teacher. Delmi Guadalupe Escobar. Escalante Rivera. Eh, El Sí Milagro. Present teacher. Good. Thank you, Miss. Right. Um, Guevara Rosales. Mr. Emerson Oswaldo. Ok. Eh, Amaya de Amaya, Ellen. Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Mi teacher. Thank you. Neftali García. Present teacher. Thank you. López Cerón. Prisuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Guevara Chinchilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Díaz Villegas. Guevara Castro. Present teacher. Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Corpeño Martínez. Present teacher. Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. López Portillo. Present teacher. Chicas Delgado. Present teacher. Good. Bueno, eh, hacerles el atento recordatorio de realizar las tareas, ok, de las tareas de esta semana. Con este tema usted ya puede realizar la tarea 20 también, ok, porque la 20 va a ser repaso de la unidad 4, 
Sí, ya puede rezar la tarea 20. Eh, y también ya puede, empezar, ya puede tomar el examen final. El examen final, otro recordatorio, el día lunes vamos a realizar la encuesta que el día de ayer recibió en su WhatsApp o en su correo electrónico. Así que ese día, eh, si puede tener eh, la encuesta y los datos a la mano, porque los vamos a utilizar. ¿okay? Y los vamos a ingresar todos juntos para que no exista alguna confusión. Y si existe alguna duda, pues la resolvemos esa clase. Ok. So, no sé si tienen ustedes alguna pregunta. No, oh, teacher, thank you. Ok. So, espero que tengan un excelente fin de semana al lado de eh, sus familiares. Ok. Eh, nos vemos, si Dios quiere, el día lunes with the last English class. Ok. Take care. Enjoy it. And bye bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.